Hi everyone, my name is Rob and welcome to the Video Gadgets Journal. Now this is an iPad Mini and if you've owned a PC, have you ever wanted to get it onto your screen? And not only that, have you ever wanted to record it? Well that's all coming up. First things first, make sure your iPad is completely up to date. In my example, I'm using iOS 9.0.2. Next up is your PC recording program and I'm using Reflector 2 because it does now work with iOS 9. You want to head over to www.airsquirrels.com forward slash reflector and download the free version. The free version does have a watermark on any recordings that you do. You can then launch the Reflector program and that will put it into your taskbar on your computer ready to accept an iPad to connect to. Next comes the iPad mini itself. What you need to do here is scroll up from the bottom of the screen to bring up the control center and then tap on airplay. Now you should see your computer name and all you need to do is tap on that and then toggle on mirroring if it's not already on. As soon as you do that, an iPad frame will appear on your computer with the iPad screen inside it. You will also notice in the reflector taskbar on your computer that the iPad is now connected to it. This is what it looks like on camera. You may see a little bit of lag, usually about a second or half a second, but it's pretty accurate, colors are good, and it doesn't lose connection too much as long as you're not doing anything too intensive on your Wi-Fi or internet uh, connection. Now this is where things start to get a little more interesting. On the reflector program, there is a record button within the iPad window, and if you click it, you can actually start recording the screen on your computer. And this footage is direct recording from the reflector program. Now, as you can see, it does record a lot of background. So although it is 1080p, you're only recording about half of the actual screen, but you can actually rotate it on the fly and it works quite well. Now when you put two recordings side by side, the one on the left is me just recording with the camera, the other is a direct recording of the screen on the reflector program, you can see that there is a significant increase in quality using the reflector program. One thing you will need to bear in mind is that the recording is likely going through the same network as everything else. So if you do anything that is internet intensive, then you might get a bit of lag or dropout as you can see from this example where I'm trying to use maps and it's a little bit behind my camera recording. Now this is the paid version so there is no watermark on screen and the reflector program does include some nice recording features. You can change the background, you can get rid of the iPad frame if you want to and it will even record up to 4K to get better quality on screen. The most important thing to remember, especially on PCs, is to ensure that both the recording program and the iPad are completely up to date. I did have one or two teething problems when I was experimenting. Good luck!